everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here for, um, let's see, this is Kit Day Thursday using the Stampin' Up! Memories in the Making Kit. And I'm just doing a random Project Life Week. Um, this is while we were at the beach. I've actually done a couple of these with this kit, so maybe it's not so random. But I am actually running out of Project Life spreads to do. So I'm going to have to get creative here in the next couple um, posts for this kit. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do, but we will find out because I still have plenty of cards, as you can see. Um, I have these two 3 by 4 wood veneer cards and I don't know how to well I know how to use them but I don't like the way that they look in my album so I don't think I'm going to end up using them but we shall see you never know I may I may change my mind to do something totally different so as I do with all of my layouts I'm flipping through like every single card trying to figure out what I like um what colors I like what I think fits best and just kind of rolling with it and you're gonna see these are going to change like drastically throughout right now i have that like wreath that blue wreath in the top right corner and that's going to totally change and then i'm cutting up this four by six card that said um wear the perfect pair and i am just cutting out the words and i'm going to put that on this blue card i like the blue i like the pop of the blue i like the color that it brought but i really like the sentiment so i'm actually going to put this here and this could it this could go along with multiple different photos. It could be the top photo with Ernest and Finn. It could be the photo that's right next to it with Kaylin and Walter. And that's actually originally what I had pulled it out for. And, or it could be the bottom photo with Ernest and Kaylin. So I thought about adding some arrows to it to point to the photo I was referencing. But then I kind of left it because really it could, it could apply to any of those photos that are on that side of the page. So I'm just going to leave it. And let it be um, up to the reader as to what you think or who do you think the perfect pair is. But really, all three of those are applicable to that um, sentiment. Because these are the beach photos, I was really kind of looking for the bright colors. Um, I'm going to end up pulling out a lot of the blues, as you can see, and then also really pulling in some of the pinks as well. I love the pinks in this kit. They're kind of a pink red, not necessarily like a pink, like a bright pink but kind of like a a softer red that reads as a pink and I really like that I just really like this kit it took me a little while to kind of get in the groove of it because it's a little bit different than most of the other kits it has a ton more cards like probably five times more cards than what normal kits do um and I would say 75% of the cards or, or something similar have journaling lines on them or grid lines on them. And again, that's that's a little bit different than what a normal kit would have. A normal kit has a few more decorative cards and a, little, a few less journaling cards. So it's a little bit different for me and it took me a little bit to kind of get in the groove of it. But I will definitely, definitely, definitely be purchasing these Stampin' Up! Project Life kits. But what I think I may do, because I haven't been purchasing them along the way... I may purchase them when they go into their uh, sale category. So this one is the one I had purchased when it was on sale and it was like half price. And since, again, I'm, I haven't been purchasing them as they came out, there's no reason why I can't just go ahead and purchase all the ones that are on sale and buy them that way because I've got plenty to work with in my stash. And I'm not lacking for cards in any in any form or fashion. So I think what I may do is just go ahead and kind of keep an eye on the Stampin' Up! website. With that being said, I should probably go check it out just to see what's on there now um, because there were kits on sale before that I did not purchase. So I might go ahead and do that and then just purchase them as they all go on sale because they are some really nice cards. They're nice quality, nice thickness. They're thicker than the regular Becky Higgins Project Life cards. Um, they're also squared corners, which I kind of like for my 4x6 pockets. I always round the corners in my 3x4 pockets, but I like having that option where you could choose if you want rounded corners or if you want squared corners. Um, it's not decided for you. You can you can alter it however you want. Um and of course, I like the little box that it comes in. Who doesn't like the little box that it comes in? It's just a nice little storage box have to change out my glue as you can see I broke that glue runner but I think it's the only one I have that fits the um, refills and I think I have 10 refills for that thing so I'm just going to keep working with it till I run out of refills and then I might purchase a new a new um like tape runner itself and purchase refills to fit that this month this my process is a little self-explanatory here you can kind of see what I'm doing um, especially as I set up the page 
but I'm going to tell you a little bit of other things as we go along. And I am cutting up, so I don't use 4 by 6 uh, I'm sorry, I don't use 4 by 4 cards in my project life, but I am using those cards to cut up and use for other things. So they are not getting wasted. And the same thing with the two by two cards. I've actually used over half of the two by two cards by cutting them up and using them or using them as embellishments on cards. So the four by four and uh, two by two cards, though I don't scrapbook those size cards, I'm still getting a good amount of usage out of those, by the way. Just want to point that out. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So since I haven't really been purchasing a whole lot for like shopping reasons, I decided to go ahead and keep all of my, um, well, I've been keeping like up my used up items so I can show you what I use up each month, but I have decided to go ahead and keep up my, um, keep my like glues and tapes and stuff that I use up every month just to kind of see how much I go through in a single month. I think it's going to be a little, a little excessive, <laughs> but we shall see. So in March, I'm going to keep like what, um, I'm going to keep what glue runners and stuff I use up to so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm using up. So here's another example of what I was just saying, um, cutting up cards to use them. So I cut up that picture perfect off of a card. I'm going to put it right here. Um, well, I'm playing around with putting it right here, but it's going to end up on a different card. And I've got my little Ellie Studio boxes here right to the side. As you can see, you can kind of see them. I mentioned this in my last, my last video. But I've got them kind of off to the side. And I'm going to mention it in my next layout that I do for the uh, Kit Day Thursday Stampin' Up! Memories in the Making Kit. I will show how I store my LA Studio die cuts. That way you can kind of get an idea. Um, I think I show it. I'm pretty positive I show it in my scrap room tour but um, someone had asked me and so especially since I am using it with this kit or using those die cuts with this kit I'm going to show that in the next in the next video I had just already recorded this one when the question was asked so I didn't I didn't think to record it here so it'll be on the next next Thursday's video so just kind of keep an eye out for that there, that two by two card of the top right photo is just an example of how I'm using those two by two cards. I cut picture perfect off of one and then I also have this other one that I'm going to layer on top kind of under the photo too. So that's just a different way that I'm using, I'm using these cards. I pulled out a clear, um, some clear alphabet stickers that are in black. They're just kind of a swirly scripty skinny doodly font um so i'm just putting my boys up here on this black and white photo it's got kind of a, a white space on that top left corner where some lights were in the background like christmas lights like a strand of lights and so i'm putting that there and then i'm labeling i'm layering a um ellie studio label down here and the label just says this is all i need and i had put my boys and those stickers are from provo craft they're called roll alphabet alphabities a l P H A B I T T I E S. So alphabeties. I've never seen those before. Um, I don't know how old they are. They're probably really old. But they're called Roll Al R O L L Roll Alphabeties, and they're in wrought iron black. There's this vellum um, scallop circle with a heart punched out of the middle of it. That's an Ellie Studio piece, and I'm just making a decorative card here in the middle. So I have those two decorative cards. And right now it's got that little blue enamel arrow on it, but that, that arrow is gonna move up to the card above it right here with the heart. And I'm going to layer just a little banner on the corner of that vellum piece. Because I don't like the adhesive to show through, I only have adhesive under the little memories word uh, sticker or word strip right now and I need another place that I could put adhesive under it so I'm going to create a little banner off to the corner of that scallop circle and that'll also kind of help adhere that circle down a little bit which you if you can't see it the photo with Ernest and Finn on the beach the card itself had moments like these printed on there and then I cut out Summer Lovin' right there off of a 4x4 four four card and I just made a little banner of it so I'm going to stick it right there on top of that washi tape and do a little bit of journaling on that card. So I'm going to have journaling on two cards here and that is it. And then there's also that little label that I cut out on the bottom. You can't see it right now, but the black and white photo of the group of us, it just says there's no place I'd rather be. And I put two of those 
yellow enamel triangles there. Just layering a little bit here, and it says, um, we have fun, right there on the photo with Kaylin and Walter, and isn't that the truth? Those boys have some serious fun together. They have matching shirts right here that my mom had purchased them at the uh, store in the little neighborhood that we were in, and it just says, uh, Captain Adorable Myrtle Beach. That's where we were, and the boys were using those as, like, sleep shirts. So they were getting ready for bed in this picture. Trying out a couple of different colors of just off cuts I had from different cards, trying to decide which one I want to make my banner out of. And I'm going to settle on a light blue one. That red was just too bold for that. And the polka dot was too much of a contrast. Like it was a very um, contrasting color. And you can't really see the um, banner right here. You see a little bit of the blue, but it's a lot more noticeable in person. So I'm going to go ahead and read you my journaling, which you'll see me right here in just a moment. On the card that says moments like these with Ernest and Finn on the top left, it says this trip was the first time we all went on a vacation together as a big family. Lots of new adventures, lots of good laughs, lots of quality time together. And then on this card with the red border, I'm putting down my little wood veneer heart which I think is so cute I like those wood veneer hearts I have a harder time using the outline ones but I like the solid hearts um, and I'm going to add a little bit of a blue banner behind it but since I already glued it down I have to kind of uh, cut the banner at an angle and just kind of um, push it up under my wood veneer to make it look like a continuous banner across and then what I'm writing says on our final night all at the beach house, we ventured out as a big group to enjoy dinner out. All the other meals we had cooked at home. What a big group. So we had we had planned to cook everything at home, and we just had one night that we spent out. And that, that really made it, um, first of all, it's fun to kind of cook together and just kind of eat all together and eat um, as you want to and not necessarily as coordinated meals. But we had planned certain meals to have at the house. Um and then, you know, we all contributed different ways, bringing food and also cooking and things like that. So it really made it to be a lot more um, relaxing and less, less, um, I guess, coordinated, which is kind of nice when you're on vacation, just to have that time to relax and not have to do a whole lot of like getting ready and being somewhere on time and all of that. We just really kind of chilled and hung out. And again, the weather was like terrible. So what I didn't write is when we were going out to that dinner place, we I think we tried like three restaurants before we found one that was open because the weather was so bad. They had all closed down, <laughs> but that finishes this layout. Just adding a final heart here. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you're enjoying this kit with me and I hope you have a good day. Bye.